this is just a quick update from my um, Mad Max wheel and tyre uh, unboxing video that I did the other day. Just want to go through how easy it is to use paint pens to pick out highlights on the wheels. <clears throat> so this one I've already started on. I've just given this one coat of uh, green with a tyre paint pen. These are readily available off eBay. Uh, they're less than two pounds, so they're fairly cheap. Now, this contains paint inside, similar to a Tipex pen, with a felt nib, and the nib is sprung. Uh, you compress the nib to release a little diaphragm to allow paint on. When they come, they come as just a fibre nib, so initially you have to spend uh, just a little bit of time dabbing it down and allowing the paint to drain into the nib. And once you've done that, all you do is you pick out whatever bits you want to highlight. So on this we're going for the name of the wheel and tyre. You just very lightly go over it on the top. Now when you're doing, um, say like a couple of coats on something, you have to leave this to fully, fully set before you do another coat. Otherwise, if it's too soft, all it does is scrapes off the first coat back to the rubber. Now, I'm no artist by any means, but because these are raised up, it makes it extremely easy to uh, pick it out and make it look nice and neat. Now, obviously, this is purely for looks and for show. There's no real benefit from this other than um, picking up you know, highlighting colours that are going to um, look nice on the truck when it's completed. So, bear in mind as well, when you are running, if you go scraping along things, it is going to come off, but there's nothing stopping you from just giving it a quick uh, second coat. All right. Now, this isn't the best colour to demonstrate because the green... Um, comes up quite uh, quite dark on here. I'll put a picture on of um, the orange ones that I did the other day. The orange came up quite nicely. So you can see it's uh, very simple. This doesn't rub off easily. You know, it does tend to be a case of um, scraping it off. So you haven't got to worry about it just you know willy nilly coming off when you run the run the cars, but I do feel it does just add an extra um, an extra bit of detail. It allows you to personalise your truck. If you're not sure what colour you want to go for, you can um, buy a big pack of different colours of these for seven or eight pounds. They're really not a lot of money for um, the effect that you get. Okay, so you can see how quickly I've done that now. Um, I appreciate that it might be a little bit hard to see on the camera. Now when that dries, this one's dried, and it's dried up slightly lighter. <coughs> and that, again, that's just a single coat. But now this one's dry, I can actually go over that with a second coat. That's just gonna bring that out a little bit more. If there's any bits that are a bit thin or I've missed, I'll just highlight that a little bit more. I'm not applying much pressure when I do this as well. I'm allowing the, the, the paint from the nib to sort of pull up almost so it's fairly thick. So, uh, see how quick that was just to do a second, uh, second layer on there. Same the word Mad Max. On the stock X Max wheels and tyres, um, it's got the word Traxxas and it's got the words, uh, it's got the lettering, sorry, for the uh, wheel size dimensions you can have on a real vehicle. Now they're the ones that I picked out because they look nice. Now the Traxxas ones have also got a big arrow saying rotation. Uh, that's purely because the 
Traxxas stock wheels and tyres, if you put them on the wrong way, makes the car handle like a complete pig. So they put the rotation out on just to help people get the wheels and tyres on correctly. Uh, but I personally wouldn't highlight that just because it's not very uh, realistic looking. Okay, so you can hopefully see a bit of a difference on camera there. So that's now two coats on this one and one coat on that one to dry. I shall leave this to dry for a couple of hours and then I'll do a second coat. You can see, so that's, you know, and that's, I'm happy with that now as a finished result. It looks better in person than it probably will do on the, on the camera, but it just, when you put everything together, it just, it just adds, um, just like I say, the extra little bit of colour code and detail to make the truck stand out. <coughs> okay, I hope that's been helpful for you guys. If it has, uh, subscribe, hit the bell button, and you'll get notifications of my next videos. Check out some of my previous videos as well. There should be some tutorials in there that can help you guys out. Um, especially guys with X-Maxes. That's what I'm sort of mainly concentrating on at the minute is doing X-Max videos. Thank you.